Located on Bush Island, the Sunken Rock Lighthouse marks the east entrance to the Narrows between Wellesley Island and the mainland. Constructed in 1848 and refitted in 1855, the lighthouse is 40 feet tall. It was originally built as a brick structure and was 27 feet tall. Still in active service, it is owned by the St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation, which converted it to solar energy in 1988. The lighthouse was constructed to warn mariners of a submerged rock that was extremely dangerous to ships. The lighthouse's foundation built up the submerged rock into a tiny island. Half of the tiny house was a boathouse, the other half one-room living quarters. I would imagine it had to be kind of tough. Uh, it's, as you can see, it, it is a very small uh, structure that we're, we're on right now. There was, just behind us, there was a, a small light in for the, for the lighthouse keeper, uh, but it wasn't large enough to maintain their family, so the main residence for the lighthouse keeper was over in Alexandria Bay. Uh, so they had to continuously take, uh, take their motor launch uh, out, out to the island to maintain the light. Um, and then after the lighthouse keeper's in or residence was torn down and in place was a boathouse that was put in because they couldn't, could not maintain a residence out here. The Narrows immediately upstream from Sunken Rock Lighthouse were the site of one of the most recent and spectacular shipwrecks within the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. On November 20, 1974, the 640-foot Roy A. Jodry struck Pullman Shoal off the village of Alexandria Bay. Laden with more than 20 tons of iron pellets, the ship remained afloat for about four hours. It was towed to the Coast Guard station on Wellesley Island. Attempts to keep it afloat failed, and the ship capsized and slipped below the surface. It rests today in approximately 250 feet of water in front of the Coast Guard station. 